That is a cutting process. An alternative to cutting out templates by hand, we can use the laser cutter. The laser cutter provides a quick, easy and accurate way of creating many cardboard templates. Because of the speed and accuracy of the laser cutting process, it is ideal to create as many templates as possible. For further information about laser cutting, please refer to the info sheet wall. The number 2 laser cutting information sheet can give you further instructions of how to prep your model for laser cutting. Start off by creating a new um, Illustrator document. Now you can use Illustrator or SolidWorks to um, draw templates out, but we're going to start off by using Illustrator. Draw out the shape of your material block. So this is the blue foam block that you want to cut out. And adjust your transformation. Adjust your, your scale. So we have a block of 150 by 90. There we go. And after that, we can start drawing our shape, our profile shape. Now, our profile shape is a circle of 55 mil. Yeah. And this shape runs out to a section of 115. So align it. And there is also another rectangular shape that intersects the circle. The rectangular shape is width 40 mil, 40, 45 mil, sorry. And we just want to make sure that that's aligned to the center. So align that. Now you can delete your outer profile. Yep. And once we merge these two shapes with the Pathfinder tool, we have our overall shape like that. Now from there, we can align our material block and our profile cutout like that, just very quickly. What we want to get, we want to draw out these bisecting lines of the material block. So that it can help us align our templates when we do our hot wire cutting. So this line, these lines here are midway between the length and the width of our, of, of our block. And <coughs> it also cuts across into our profile shape. So we, we would want to etch this out through the laser cutter which is why we have to readjust the shape. Now, because we're not um, cutting out the material block as a template, um, we don't need it anymore. So once you're done with that, that's it. Um, and finally, what we want to do is um, change this to a different color because we want to etch this out. Um, we don't want to cut it out, so I would change it to green or, or whatever color you like. So this lets the computer know that we are going to be etching this out, and we're going to be cutting this to the template out. Now, another thing to be advised is don't group your objects. Leave everything ungrouped because this confuses the laser cutter, and it won't import your files properly. So just always leave everything ungrouped. Um, before you export out. Okay, so now with our shape, we have a basic shape there. We can just start um, having multiple copies of our shape. Just like that, just very quickly. And as you can see, with the use of um, Illustrator and the laser cutter, we can cut out so many templates um, in a very fast amount of time. You have to be the only thing that you have to be sure of um, that the dimensions are correct. So just double check the dimensions. 
always. And if they're correct, you can start exporting your file. Now, to revert back um, how, to how to export your file, please always look at the um, laser cutting info, info sheet, which is provided in the link. Um, so, export your file. Uh, make sure it's AutoCAD interchange file, DXF. And once you're ready to export, call it templates. Now, this is where you have to refer back to your sheet. Um, for Illustrator, the sheet says select R14. Uh, make sure your artwork scale is one, one millimeters equals to one unit. Um, number of colors, try to select eight. Um, Raster file format, make sure it's JPEG uh, and make, make it maximum editability. And once you're done, you exp you've exported it, you are ready to go to get it laser cut. Take it to your technician to get it laser cut. Once we have saved the file as instruction, we can then pass on the files to a technician. We then wait patiently for the laser cutting process. Once completed, you can collect your profiles.